Hi folks, it's uh, Steve here from Analytics in Action. What I want to do today is give you a demo of how to create a SQL Server reporting services report um, with drill down functionality and I'll use the uh, report wizard to do this. So um, first thing is you need to have, uh, you need to open up uh, SQL Server Business Intelligence um, Development Studio and uh, within uh, within bids We'll create a, um, a new project, so we just go, um, let's wait for this to uh, finish doing its thing. Okay, so we go File, New, Project, and using this um, wizard we can either create, we can create a whole range of different projects, including integration services projects, but what I'm going to do is create a um, report server uh, project wizard, so we'll just call this um, uh, SQL Server Reporting Services Demo. And we're going to create it uh, just on my desktop, that's fine. Click OK. Let it, let it do its thing, create the, um, the project. So this is really the, uh, the envelope in which the uh, report's going to uh, going to sit from a, from a development perspective anyway. Uh, and what we're going to do is, um, and so here we go, just the report wizard opens up by default, just click next. So um, first thing we need to do is actually create, uh, is link to the, uh, the data source. Um, and uh, we'll call this um, sales. So we're going to basically summarize some, uh, some sales data. So the data at the moment is sitting within um, SQL Server, and we need to connect, uh, create a connection to it. So we just click Edit. Let it again, let it do its thing. Just takes a second. Um, um, so the server name, I know that the server name is um, uh, just called Named Instance. Um, it could be called uh, local host on your, on your machine. Um, the database is sitting within a database called, I think it is uh, Sandbox. Here we go, select Sandbox. Um, we could test, connect, test the connection. I know that, know that the connection will work fine. Just click OK. Um, now I've got a little um, checkbox down here, which, which um, because it's the option to make it a shared data source, that means you can use um, connect multiple reports to the, um, to the data source. So we'll um, just say yes to that today. Click next. Now the Query Builder allows you to select what fields you want to, um, or what tables and what fields um, you want to pull into the report. <coughs> Excuse me. You can also um, use, um, say, a, a query or a view as well. So what we need to do is add the table um, that the data is sitting in. So it's the reporting services demo file table. So I'm just going to add that. close that up and we just select the columns that we want in the report. So what we're going to have is category information, product information and price information. Um, and what we can do is just run this report by clicking the exclamation mark to see what the data looks like. It's only a very, very small data set but essentially what you can see there is the, um, let's drag that up, um, category of um, vehicle, the actual um, the model, and then the price associated with it. So there's 22 rows of data, so that all looks looks good. So we've created the uh, the query. We just click next. We're going to go for a tabular layout um, as opposed to a matrix. Now this is where we do our grouping. So we want to group by, in this case, group by category and product, um, and then add price into the detail. Now we click next. Um, and this is where we um, add in the option to include um, both drill down and subtotals um, on the report. And you'll see that um, you develop better understanding what that actually means when we produce the final final report. Just click next. Here we've got some um, some formatting options. Let's go with the default one today. And then now this is where the report is going to um, deploy to. Um, then we just click next. So that's pretty much it. Um, 
So I'll just call this SQL Server Reporting Services Demo. And then we'll just preview this report as well. Okay. And click Finish. So what I'll do now is I'll go off and uh, create that report. So we'll, that'll take um, just a few seconds to do. Do its thing. There we go. Right, so now what it's doing is rendering the, the report, um, and we should get the uh, report that we're after. So we've got category information, product information, and price, and we can drill um, down into, into the data set. When we drill, drill down into the data set, say down into the actual product, we've got the, um, the individual prices and uh, we've also got the subtotals here on the price. Um, so for example for the Ford, we've got two $45,000 purchases, but we've got the subtotal of $90,000 there. So that's a very simple um, example of using the report wizard to um, create a report within SQL Server Reporting Services. So all very simple um, very simple stuff, uh, just a matter of being um, aware of actually how easy it can be. Um, if you found this um, this demo useful, it might be worth um, you um, perhaps subscribing to my um, YouTube channel. I'm trying to produce um, uh, demos every every couple of weeks. Um, so if you subscribe, you'll get a uh, um, you'll get a um, an alert every time a new video is produced. Um, the other option is to come across to my website, which is uh, analyticsinaction.com and have a look at some of the other um, videos I have on um, a whole range of things. So both um, reporting, using uh, reporting services, things like um, some of the more um, uh, some things like you know motion charts, um, power pivots, um, and even some of the more just advanced stuff within uh, within Excel. So things like the offset functions stuff like that, which is really handy. Handy thing to learn, a handy thing to be aware of. And then I also have stacks of stuff on predictive modeling and also SQL Server integration services. So um, stacks and stacks of useful stuff. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the um, demo today and um, hope you'll um, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, folks.